Today we'll create an expression from a nodal force report. We're starting from the end of an earlier video in this link. We'll begin by creating a nodal force report. We'll call it NFR GPF. We'll select grid point, grid point force for the first step. And then we'll select the elements that we'd like to include in our grid point force report. And then the notes. We'll go ahead and add all the forces and moments, and we'll create a field. So here we'll give the field a name, and we're just going to put out the forces. And here we can see that field. And you can see in it there are three quantities for the X, Y, and Z grid point forces. Now we'll need to remember those names when we go to the expression editor to create our field-based expression. Here we'll give the expression a name, and then we'll use the field-based expression formula to reference first our field, which is the NFR GPF underscore force, and we need to make sure that the case is correct there as well and then we'll reference our X grid point force which was called force 1 in the field. And here you can see it returns that value of the grid point force in the X direction. 